Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we're going to take on two big games, Norwich City and Chelsea. There's not very many games left in the season. If we were to get some decent results here, you never know, we might be safe. Only two fixtures to review since the last time we met, the first of which was a 4-2 away defeat against Tottenham Hotspur. Dali Ali, Musa Sissoko and Harry Kane double the goals for them. Least move said McBurney for us, John Fleck missed a penalty as well. So we were well in this game, we weren't absolutely smashed but a deserved defeat. And in the other game we actually managed to beat Brighton 2-0. I believe Brighton were either in 18th or 17th position when we played them in this game so getting a win against them today was absolutely huge. McBurney and Oliver Norwood with the goals for us. And just a great, great three points and a great performance. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit in 14th on 32 points. We are now nine points clear from 18th place Brighton, which is absolutely fantastic. Only six games to go. It looks unlikely at this point that we could get relegated, but you never know. We could easily be dragged back into it. There was that period during January where we didn't win for nine games and lost about seven of them. So, you know, never say never. But if we manage to get a win a day against Norwich... I think we're safe. So this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Dean Henderson will of course start in goal. Egan Kerrer, O'Connell in the defence. Uh, Baldock and Ziegler are going to be our wing backs for today's game. Norwood and Fleck in the centre. Freeman in behind McBurney and Lise Mousset. So Norwich come out with the standard 4-2-3-1. A pretty attacking formation for a side down in 17th. We're going to have to be wary of that and hopefully our defence can hold out. And maybe our attack might be able to punish the lack of space uh, between the midfield and defence. So we kick off shooting from right to left in this first half. Of course we are away from home which makes things a little bit more difficult. But um, <clears throat> I think we beat Norwich last time we played them. Whether it was me or not I'm not entirely sure. Or whether that was before we became manager. Um, but So we've got a good record against Norwich. And I think we've generally got quite a good record against sides who play this sort of formation. And we are able to exploit the wings, which is left vacant by the uh, attack on wingers. But uh, I think I've spoken too soon. Pookie hits the bar. Roberts back in. Henderson manages to claim it this time. I'm always nervous. Another highlight now. It looks like Norwich have definitely had the better of the first 20 minutes or so. Lewis has got the ball on the left-hand side. He goes all the way back. We are pretty distant away from uh, McBurney, who's sitting there up top doing absolutely nothing. So we are not able to close them down very quickly as they try to switch the player. Ziegler cuts it out and John Fleck can now drive forward and he sets away McBurney who's been sitting on the last man this entire time. Who's is at least Moussa getting in the box. The ball's played in. It's clear by Zimmerman. And now maybe Norwich can break. It is end-to-end -end stuff. Never mind. Freeman picks up the ball in the attacker midfield position. Sets away Ziegler on the left-hand side. And we'll give the ball away again. And the keeper, please don't mess this up. Henderson boots it. I have no idea where this is going. Here we are. It's coming through for Norwich. They're in behind. They beat our defensive line. But Dean Henderson makes a decent first save. But sets a, just gives it straight back to them. And unfortunately Norwich go 1-0 ahead. I thought that highlight was never going to finish. To be honest with you. And I'm a little bit gutted it didn't. <laughs> Roberts sets the ball away. He gets in behind our high line. And um, Dean Henderson with a decent save. But... Can't really, should really be parrying that out wide, but I think it hits underneath his arm, so he can't really control it that much. And Norwich are definitely having the better of this game as there is another highlight starting. Luke Freeman pinches the ball on the right hand side for us, gives the ball away though to Zimmerman, and we have to reset. John Egan with a big boot up, Mousset's in behind now, Mousset goes for goal, and Ralph Farman makes a big stop for Norwich. Another highlight now, Freeman with the ball quite deep, he's been pressured by two Norwich players, but he does well. To lay off the pass. Baldock now on this right hand side. Can he get a decent delivery in? He stops too long but he does beat his man. He gets the ball's played in. Mousset is there. And he gets his ninth goal of the season with his head. It's not very often you'll say that for at least Mousset. But he manages to do it today. Some great play by Baldock on that right hand side. I did think he'd messed up the opportunity when he stopped here. But he manages to take it past his man once again. Decent delivery in. And Mousset doesn't even need to jump. Farman should probably do better. 1-1. So pretty dominating display by Norwich but we do manage to go in at half time 1-1. Might have to change some things about to get us back into this game in terms of actually competing. So we'll go cautious rather than attacking but there is an early highlight. Norwich with the free kick it's played in, hits the bar. That's the second time they've hit the woodwork already in today's game. Another cross in and it goes wide. We're very fortunate here. 
another highlight now. Norwich currently in possession in the midfield area. We've got plenty of men back though. Uh, they're not really picking up on the wing sides, obviously. Our wing backs pushing up, but we force Norwich all the way back. The ball finds its way back to this right hand side for Norwich with Aaron's. He beats his man down that wing, gets the ball in. John Egan manages to clear, but the ball. Oh my god, what is that? Mark was Steeperman. What a goal that was, my son. I think that was a bit of a scissor kick. Um, if I looked at his attributes, I would probably be mightily disappointed that he's been able to pull that off against us. So I'm not even going to bother. But John Egan clears, and it is a scissor kick, and he catches it on the half volley and makes it 2 1. 60 minutes in now, we'll look to make some changes. Ziegler can come off for our regular left wing back starter, Ender Stevens. Another 10 minutes or so goes by with nothing really happening. George Baldock can come off for Freeman on that right wing back role. As always, you have to really maintain your right, right and left wing backs. They're always the most tired come 70 minutes or so. And we give the ball away in the attacking third once again. And now Roberts can break for Norwich. It's a little too often. Our passing and our composure it really lets us down in the final third when, when we're trying to maintain possession at the very least. And a lot of the opportunities that the opposition gets is just down to our own mistakes. And with only a minute remaining, that is probably going to be all she wrote for today's game. Norwich beat us 2-1. Disappointing. We could have really put ourselves in a great position to avoid relegation today. We haven't managed to do that. Norwich were in 17th going into today's game. So victory would have been really, really nice. We currently still sit 9 points clear of Brighton in the 18th, but they do have a game in hand. So we'll get to the Chelsea game and see if there's any changes in the league. So we're back for the home tie against Chelsea. The only change to the starting eleven is Ender Stevens returns at left wing back. Otherwise, everything's the same. Let's get a kick off. So Chelsea are playing the exact same formation that Norwich played against us last time. The 4-2-3-1. We didn't perform particularly well against Norwich. Whether that was down to tactics or formation, who knows. Um, but obviously Chelsea is going to be a completely different animal. Much better players doing far better in the league. And... If we, get, if we get anything from this game, it will be an absolute miracle. Early highlight after kickoff five minutes in, and it's Chelsea who are currently in possession. But we managed to pinch it off them with Baldock down this right-hand side. We've got a lot of men bombing forward, and Baldock's taking it all the way to the byline. And he goes for goal. I mean, decision-making, poor. Another highlight now, and we'll pinch the ball after a goal. Uh, Kepa kicked it out for Chelsea. And McBurney's got the ball on the right hand side. He finds Leafs move set in the box. And what a volley that is. His 10th goal of the season. An assist for Oliver McBurney. And that is probably the best goal, one of the best goals we've scored this season, without a shadow of a doubt. Baldock wins it on that right hand side. McBurney takes it down the line and puts in an absolutely beautiful cross. And this is a hell of a volley by Lee Smooth set. Oh, he's definitely, definitely proven his worth over Billy Sharp. And uh, going 1-0 against Chelsea is absolutely massive. But we are only 20 minutes in. Still plenty of this game to go. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of the game shakes out. As Jorginho gets the ball from Cantier. He plays it back. Finds up Acosta on this right-hand side. Chelsea playing it about lovely. They're not putting the ball in though. So hopefully we can get a foot in if we can. Cantier on the edge to Jorginho. Takes a strike. Great save by Dean Henderson to keep us in front. Pedro with the corner for Chelsea. The ball's played in. Kerra managed to get a clear. But the highlight continues with Pedro again. He whips the ball in. Can this highlight just end, please? Because it looks like it's going to be another Chelsea attack. Rudiger, there we are. We'll take it. Another highlight. Chelsea with the ball again. This time deep in the run. Half Zappa Costa driving down the right-hand side and switching the play to Pedro on the left. The ball's played in. Tammy Abraham's clear. Probably should be scoring there. Decent save by Dean Henderson. But it was an open header for Tammy. And you would assume he would normally score that. The highlight's continuing, though. And it looks like it could be going for us. Luke Freeman picks up the ball in an advanced position. Finds Baldock on this right-hand side. He's causing all sorts of problems for the left-hand side of Chelsea. And Lee Smooth sets there. Kepa with an absolute worldy of save. It would have been offside anyway. But Lee Smooth set should be putting that in the back of the net. Another highlight now. Willian lovely through ball to Tammy Abraham. He's completely in behind. And Dean Henderson once again keeping us in a fantastic save. Should be 2-1 up Chelsea at this point. Definitely Pedro. With the corner, plays the ball in. Abraham's there again and Dean Henderson is equal to the task. So the game not going great for us after our goal. We're not keeping very much possession. They're having a lot of opportunities. But we are riding our luck right now. And it's going okay. And if we are to get a result against Chelsea, it's going to be a lot of riding our luck. As Willian finds Pedro 
all the way in behind our defence. He finds Willian again. Oh, it's a great strike. I thought Dean Henderson had saved it, but he didn't manage to keep it out. Willian, seventh goal of the season. Pedro with the assist. We'll have a look at this one again because I'm not entirely sure whether Dean Henderson gets a hand of this or not. It did look like he did and I thought it was going to go wide, but it wasn't a bay. William with a strike. Henderson definitely gets a touch to it, just not enough. And we'll, go, we'll probably go in at half-time 1-1 now. And there we are, half-time. Least move set with our goal. William with the goal for Chelsea. Two fantastic goals as well. Uh, we'll go out for the second half and hope that we can just maintain competitiveness, if nothing else. Baldock finds McBurney on this right-hand side for the first highlight of the second half. The ball's played in. Least move sets there. And he hits the bar. He was offside again. Offside again. But again, Lee Smith said should be putting that in the battle of the net. That's two clear-cut opportunities for him. Where, although he was offside, he should be putting them in the battle of the net. And Tammy Abraham has been dragged off for Chelsea after having a pretty poor showing in front of goal. Only 20 minutes remain in this match. I'm not going to make any changes just yet. The second half has went pretty much perfectly for us, apart from getting a goal. As Oliver Norwood drives forward. And finds Baldock on the right-hand side. He whips it in with his weak foot. Lee Smoussette's there. Lee Smoussette. Oh, my God. So many opportunities. And he's missed another. Zappa Costa down the right-hand side. Tries to switch the play to Pedro. But Baldock does well defensively. After He's had, he's had a great game. Bombing up and down the pitch for us. Uh, Norwood gives the ball away, though, to Emerson from the Chelsea's left-hand side. If we can nick the ball, we might be in with an opportunity, but it looks like Chelsea are going to maintain possession and Zappa Costa can drive down the right-hand side, but Stevens with a great challenge. And O'Connell has got the time to get rid. Stevens though, Dally's on the ball for far too long and Zappa Costa can nip in and set Chelsea away. Pedro's there. Ah, oh, 10 minutes to go and Pedro gets his ninth goal of the season. It was another error in our possession, um, giving the ball away in our own half. Not ideal. Stevens just... Keeping the ball for far too long and Zappa Costa making him pay for it. And it's a great little through ball, but we'll leave a lot of space because of how far we were pushed up because of where the ball was when we lost it. And another mistake, and it's cost us big time. 2 1. We look to make some changes. We're going to get Callum Robinson on for Freeman in the attack and midfield role. We'll get Oliver Norwood off for Ben Osborne as well in the centre of midfield. Not the greatest game for them two boys, so we'll make some changes, see if it makes any bit of difference. Doesn't look like it's going to. Full time, Chelsea 2, Sheffield United 1. I think that was a decent, decent performance by us. I don't think it was too bad. Chelsea did really dominate us in the first half, but the second half was quite even. Um, we had some chances with the least move set that we couldn't put away. And unfortunately, we fell to the defeat. But with only four games remaining in this season, we are still nine points clear from Brighton in 18th, which is absolutely fantastic stuff. When we come back for the next episode, it will be the Palace and West Ham game plus our end of season review. And we'll see if we can manage to stay in the league. Only four games left with nine points clear. I think I think we're pretty good. Let's just say it quietly, just in case. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.